Welcome back PSG and family, Paris Saint-Germain is finally back, I know it's a friendly but I don't care, Paris Saint-Germain is finally back, even before the World Cup has ended and Paris Saint-Germain will face off against Paris FC at the Centre d'Entraînement Oridou. Paris Saint-Germain's training ground this Friday, so tomorrow, the 16th of December, 11.30 Central European time, French time. Uh, it's a big game, it's a big game for Paris Saint-Germain. We're finally back. Uh, Galtier's first thing we can see actually from him since that 5-0 uh, win victory against Ozer. Uh, Paris Saint-Germain, I mean, we were not at our best, but Ozer were just too bad. They were too bad, and Ekitike, Renato, Soler, Hakimi, everybody, Mbappe, everybody, Nuno, everybody had fun in that game. Uh, but now it's a different story. We will be without a lot of our key players uh, due to the ongoing World Cup. Whereas Paris FC's last game came against Cosne sur Loire. Uh, a 2-0 victory in the Coupe de France, a round of 64, progressing through to the next round in the Monaco stages in the Coupe de France so two different lost games for the two outfits but both are back now for the friendly that's being played managers Christophe Galtier as I said he has pro I saw him at uh, the beginning of the World Cup but Paris Saint-Germain have been training for around one week or even a bit more than that so Galtier has you know he has been with the players a lot of TTs have joined of course uh, the first team trainings uh, but Galtier is prepared uh, for his first game and I'm really intrigued to see what he will do with uh, the other plays he has because Galtier, one thing I've noticed with him, he, he always gets the best, he plays a system that's the best for the player, he doesn't play a certain system because he feels like he, he plays a certain system because the players suits them. And now that we are with a lot of our key players, especially our attacking trio Eminem, it would be really interesting to see what Galtier pulls up with uh, in this game. Whilst Thierry Lory, uh, the manager of Paris FC, he's, even though Paris FC is in Ligue 2, uh, Thierry Lory is a very experienced manager in Ligue and of course had uh, Strasbourg very recently. So it would be a very interesting game uh, for both managers coming into this game and Paris FC usually are good against Ligue 1 teams in friendlies having only lost one of their last five games against Ligue 1 teams in friendlies so this is not uh, a pushover game injuries uh, for this game of course all the world cup players that went to world cup none of them will be available for this game apart from Vitinha Keylor Navas I don't believe the Spanish players have yet to arrive at the training camp that includes Sarabia and Soler but the injury are Nuno Mendes, Danilo Pereira coming back early from a World Cup due to due to their injuries, whilst Pembele, Fabian Ruiz, and Kim Pembe all are injured. Kim Pembe, of course, he's still injured. Fabian Ruiz is still injured. Uh, Pembele is back, but he won't be 100% fit to play this game. This is the predicted lineup for Paris Saint Germain. So this is what, from what I looked up, in goal we'll probably see Gianluigi Donnarumma, but there's a slight chance that we may get to see Rico or Keylor Navas in goal. Backline should be Mukiele, Sergio Ramos, Bichiabo, and Juan Bernat. I think Bichiabo has a short start because we can only play Ramos at centre-back, Mukiele as well, but then we don't have a right-back, it all depends on Pembele's availability, with, with me not thinking he will be back, the midfield will be very strong, Renato Sanchez, Marco Verratti and Vitinha, that then in the attack of course, Eminem are gone, and then Soler and Sarabia are also gone, this means that Iketik 100% starts, and then I added in Warren Zaire Emre and Ismail Garbi, but I believe Warren Zaire Emre will definitely start, and then instead of Garbi we may see Ilyas Husni, but it will be between those two players. Um, and my once watch for this game is Eketik. Of course, he hasn't gotten a lot of chances at Paris Saint Germain this season. But right before the World Cup, he had a hot streak. He had a hot run, scoring in that game against Ozer and assisting against Lorient. He's sitting on three goals and assists in his last two games. So he's on fire. Even though it's been a period since then, he will need to show Galtier why he deserves more minutes for this team. And this being a, a friendly, and he will start this game and next game. It's, 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 it's a very nice way to show Galtier that, yeah, I deserve more minutes. Taking a look at Paris FC, they sit 12th in the Ligue 2 table, uh, far away from where they ended last season. Last season, of course, they qualified for the, the one-off game to come to Ligue 1, but they lost it. 
they bottled it actually in the last game now they're sitting 12 so far away from where they finished off last season uh, they lost five games have been one draw one loss and three wins so yeah they're they are on a good run you could say compared to where they are in the league table uh this is their predicted lineup they will pull up with a 4-5-1 or 40 Four three three or four two three one, but pretty much it will be four defenders, five midfielders, and one attacker. We have Filipovic in goal, Bernard Chergui, Lefort, and Hanin in the back line. We got Firi Iglesias, Manduki in midfield with Goren Kebal on the wings, and Julie Vagui up top. And here's my ones to watch from this team. Has scored three goals in the last two games for Ozer and has been really important for them. And yeah, he will be the standout player from this team. Also, Kebal, uh, the right winger, he's Algerian. Actually, I can I can predict that he's pretty much maybe a skillful winger that will be very threatening in 1v1 situations. But my prediction for this game is a 3-1 victory to Paris Saint-Germain. I don't think it will keep a clean sheet because Paris FC will come here to prove a point. Of course, a derby, this is pretty much Paris Saint-Germain never played derbies because no Paris team is in Ligue 1. But this is the first time for it. So Paris FC will come and play, but Paris Saint-Germain will just be too strong. We have, though, seen a lot of big teams lose out in friendlies, for example, United losing to Cadiz so who knows what happens in these, in these friendlies but I'm expecting two goals for Mkhitaryan I expect him to score at least one and then Sergio Ramos with the Golazo make sure to let me know in the comments down below what's your prediction for this game Paris Saint-Germain is finally back let's go let's go let's go make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe to the PSG and YouTube channel for daily Paris Saint-Germain content and as usual allez 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 Paris <laughs>